Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to update a record but using Apex. But before getting started, if you feel my videos are helpful and you are able to learn Apex even a bit from my videos, I request you to please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to basically update the existing accounts or existing records of accounts but using apex so let's consider it with the real time example or a normal way in which we edit an account so for an example if i have to edit this particular account let's say i have to edit this account what i had to do was i had to go over here and click on edit and then i would have made whatever changes i have to do like for an example if i have to do two or something like that i would have just saved it and bam my account would have been updated so there are a few things to notice that first in order to edit the account first it should at first exist okay first of all if i want to edit something record must first of all exist if the record does not exist how will i edit it right this means i'm creating it if the record does not exist this means i have to create the record but if record exists only then i can go ahead and update the record okay if the record exists then what i need to do is i had I, what I did was the record already existed over here. I just chose that record and made an update, right? So first of all, next is that choose the record. You want to update. Now, once you choose the record, make the updates, make the changes and click on save button. So simple edit was record. First of all, should exist. If the record exists, then go ahead and choose the record that you wanted to update as it exists already you just want to choose the record and you for an example i chose the record this record to update and then i made whatever changes i had to do and then i clicked on save button now the same sequence you have to do it in apex right so first of all if the record exists now let's say record already exists now you want to choose the record you want to update so in order to choose the record you have to first of all query the record okay so this is in in normal terms i'm talking right in normal terms i'm talking about in apex terms okay if i break this problem down the record already exists okay so the first pattern is already done next part is choose the record you want to update in order to choose the record you want to update you have to query that record right query the record and then make whatever the changes you want to do and then update the record so simply in apex term first you have to query the record make whatever changes you had to do and just update the record so let's understand it in apex how would i do it okay i'm going to create quickly a function a public void update records so the first thing says that record should exist so record already exists let's say i want to update the same this record from the apex right i want to update this record from the apex so if i want to update this record first of all that record should exist so it does exist next step two is i have to choose the record this means i have to query the record and in order to query a record we usually write a sql query for an example in order to check whether my sql query is running fine or not i'll just select id comma name from account where name equals to I'll just provide the name and I'll execute it. So this means now my I'm the query that I had to do or the account that I had to query is for that the query is perfectly working fine. So next what I need to do is need to I need to put this query inside Apex. So I'll just copy paste this query and store it inside Apex or put it inside Apex. Now if you have realized that if I'm running this query, it's returning something back to me. It's returning the id and the name which is in total if you think about it it's nothing but a small account it's nothing but account okay so this query is going to be uh, going to return back to me an account a simple one account if you see this is just returning one account so it's just going to return one account to me right so for that purpose whatever this query is returning okay i have to store it somewhere so to store it i'm going to create account acc or acc update let's name it as ac update 
okay and in apex whenever you're writing a query write it within square braces So what exactly right now has happened is that we have queried an account with this name and whatever account we have got, we have stored it within this ACC update variable. Now, next thing is the, the first step is done. Query the record. Okay. We have queried the record. Next, I have to make the changes. Okay. So I'm just going to make the changes. So ACC update dot name. I'm going to update with this is updated new account. 6th March. Okay. So the first step is done. Query the record. Second step is also done. That is make the changes. Right. And the third step is done. Just update the record. Okay. To update the record, just go ahead and do update ACC update. That's it. Now what's going to this, what, what's uh, this method is going to do? It's going to query that particular record. And then it's going to make changes to this record. And then finally, it's just going to do an update. So if I run this particular method, so this was named as created from Apex 6 March. Now it should be updated to something else. So as you can see, this is updated new account 6 March. So in simple terms, I just queried the record that I wanted. I made the changes and I updated it. So this is how you can update a record inside Apex. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.